If you want results like this on an uneven piece of wood when you start your engravings, stick around. I'll show you how. So I've opened F Engrave here. This is a great project. It's made uh, by Scorch, Scorchworks. It's available online for free. Here you can see I have it on normal text. This is just a poem that I want to write. But if you go to, say, like a bold text, see now the CNC machine would have to outline every single letter. But in normal, it actually cr creates a single line engraving which is so much easier in terms of uh, machining time. So over here I have the text height, what I've set it to, my line thickness, not very thick, uh, you can change the spacing and the word spacing, line spacing, also you can angle this if you have to, but that's fine. And down here you can just, you can edit your text. Up on here, this side, uh, you show uh, what speed you want your CNC machine to run. Uh, plunge rate will automatically go to the same as the feed rate. This is their safe height for uh, when Z comes up. And then this is how deep you want to engrave. So it's pretty simple. And then when you're done, you just click File, uh, Save G Code. You can also save the settings as well. So I'll take you into the shop and I'll show you what kind of probe I've got. So here's a picture of the probe I made. I've got a quick connect here. This goes to an input pin and a ground pin on my breakout board and my parallel or my parallel port card just a scrap piece of wood with a momentary switch here so all I do is I just clamp it to the side here so what I've done is I put an X on my workpiece this marks my home spot so I'll drive my CNC machine over I'm homing the bit that I'm going to use I guess it's not really homing I'm really touching off uh, at my workplace coordinate there so here's my wire coming down. I just plugged it into my probe there. You want to make sure that this is in a position that's not going to crash your tool bit on your work clamps or work piece holder. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive that momentary switch to the X that I originally marked. So in Linux CNC, we can go to Machine, Show How Configurator. What you can do is go to uh, Paraport here. And then we're going to go to watch, and my pin is pin 11, which I have that momentary switch hooked up to. So now what I'm going to do is minimize Linux CNC so I can still operate it because I need to be able to see the HAL configurator and, Linux CNC and be able to run Linux CNC at the same time. So now what I'm going to do is jog that momentary switch down until I see the uh, pin change. So I'm looking for this to change. There. So these new coordinates right here, I'm going to write those down. So I open G Code Ripper, and here's the poem that I want to scribe onto the piece of wood. So I've selected Auto Probe, and when you select Auto Probe, you get these options that come up on the side. So you can change the amount of X and Y points and like, trigger points that you want to uh, input. Or have. So in my probe X, Y, and Z offset, I've put the value from lit that I just copied from Linux CNC. My probe safe height is how high it's going to come up. Uh, probe depth, I don't worry about, and just the feed rate. And now I'm going to click recalculate. It's going to work its magic, and I'm going to save the G code file, probe, and cut. Come back to Linux CNC. I can open my probe and cut. And you can see how it's. So here's my probe, looks like it's way off to the side, and here's where I'm homed. And that's good because that's the offset you put in. So the pattern that you set up in G Code Ripper, I think I had a grid 3x5. The machine is now going to probe that grid, and you can see. Just goes down, does a little uh, tap, and records that position. So once it's done probing, I just pause my program and remove my probe so it doesn't crash right away. So now when we hit play, it should execute. You know, luckily today we live in a world where stuff's available uh, for free on the web. And thanks to Scorchworks, you know, stuff like this is made possible. 
let's just go over what we've done here. We've used a single line engrave. Uh, that way we get the best results that we can and reduces this, the, uh, the amount of machining time because we're only going over the letter once. We don't have to do the outline. So that, you know, cut this project down to maybe 25 minutes on the machine. Also, we've used the auto probe to uh, determine the thickness of the wood because we can't see that with the naked eye, but if I was to set my bit to go straight across without using the probe, then uh, you know, you'd have thin letters over here, thick letters over here because that wood is waving at you. And you know, my table's not always flat too. So thanks to Scorchworks, this is you know, a great program to use and for anyone who's looking for single line engraving or uh, probing different heights and you can even do this on dishes, uh, on bowls, it would work just the same. So I hope you enjoy this video, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.